those evil pop on. Their names go across the screen. Oh, hello. Welcome. Oh, what up, Megan? <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Good evening. How is everybody? Megan, hello. Mel. Amber, hello, everybody. Right to see all of your faces scrolling across the screen. Welcome to your flower moon ceremony. So as uh, we're all tuning in, a few things that you might need. Um, a yoga mat, or I got a mat and my favorite... Um, uh, blanket over top of it for the practice tonight. Um, not a lot of heavy duty physical movement, but you want to be comfortable. Uh, if you want to have some pillows around as well, um, grab your water. Maybe you got a tea on, you want to grab your tea. We'll have a nice soft sort of start with everything. My name is Christy, and this is Buzz Rock over here. <laughs> Welcome to our our yoga shala, our our little yoga zone in our house. So nice to have you guys all tonight. So we are, like I said, option to do a little bit of movement. Um, I'll miss you. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of movement. So I did want to take um, take a moment to do our opening statement. We always share for oxygen classes. Um, just so you are aware that this is the option to be physical. But you also might just uh, want to be on your back in Shavasana the whole time. That's also available for you. So like I said, my name is Christy and this is Buzz Rock. And we miss all of you as well so much. Um... The class today, well, this is our flower moon ceremony, our Scorpio full moon, our, um, our last super moon of the season. So uh, take some time to take that in once uh, we're all finished uh, gathering this evening. I teach at Oxygen South and East location and sometimes can catch me at the North in Regina here. You can use a yoga mat, like I said, or a pillow, um, as well as a pillow if you need. Light some candles, create a nice, nice atmosphere. And make sure um, you have your volume turned on and up. So we're live music tonight. Um, we're going to really hope you can let us know in the comments if uh, you can hear okay once we um, get started trying to combine my voice and the music. Um, <clears throat> we also ask that you uh, consult your physician before beginning any exercise program. If you choose to exercise to this video, please remember you do so at your own risk and acknowledge that this exercise car carries an inherent risk of physical injury, particularly if you have a history of health problems or any previous injuries. If at any time you feel exercising beyond your current fitness abilities, or you feel discomfort, pain, dizziness, or nausea, stop immediately. Oxygen Yoga and Fitness and its affiliates disclaim all liability for claims resulting from failure to comply with these warnings and or exercises in this video and or any instructions or advice provided. But it's going to be low key, though, when we do start playing those drums, maybe you want to get, take it up a notch. That's up to you. So uh, before we started, or before we uh, we tuned on, I uh, got Buzz Rock to pick a card from us from our chakra cards. And he grabbed the creation card. He chose the creation card. So 
just planting that seed. Um, this moon is very much about creativity, um, bringing what is in the darkness out into the light, sharing your gifts. So it is truly a blessing for us to share our gifts with you. And we hope you really enjoy yourself. I'm going to make my way over to my mat and uh, we'll get started. <clears throat> so tonight, I invite you to allow yourself to bloom. Surrender, let go, allow yourself to be just as you are. And uh, maybe you've got the kids with you too. This is definitely uh, family friendly. If uh, you've got the pets around, um, let's embrace our surroundings and uh, surrender to our, our uh, surroundings as well. Having so much fun. And uh, to start things off, we're going to think about our hands. So if you just wanna take your hands to start Press them at your heart center. Close your eyes for a few grounding breaths. Sigh out anything you need to sigh out. Add some voice to it if you wish. Ah, you're at home, why not? If you feel comfortable, a nice big deep sigh out, inhale. Expand those ribs, fill the billows, feel that basket of your rib cage. Open up. <sighs> Letting go. Pausing for a moment to set an intention for this moon, this flowering energy, Scorpio energy. So it is a, it is a connection between earth and water. So thinking about that, our water sign and our earth energy in May coming together for this abundant time. The earth is about to explode on this side of the hemisphere with life. Bringing awareness back into those hands, staying connected to your breath. We're just gonna do some stretches here with our prayer hands, namaskar bends. We're just gonna shift our hands side to side. You can start to play. Keeping our hands strong and flexible enhances our life force energy. It enhances our enjoyment of life. Just taking a few more really enjoying sensation here. Our hands are an extension of our heart, and this practice is definitely revolved around heart energy. Taking those hands here, we're going to interlace our fingers, hold them in our lap like a basket, take a nice shoulder roll, roll drop those shoulders down the back, and inhale, draw energy up, let it wash over you, press your palms to the sky. And exhale, draw that energy back down. Slide it down the front of the body into your lap again. Flare those palms up. Open those baskets. Inhale. Palms up to the sky. Exhale. Pull those palms down. Allow the spine to move with you. Inhale. Lift up. Expand your ribs. And exhale, pull it down a few more rounds. Energy, heat moving into that heart center. <laughs> Pulling it down this time. Hands in our lap like a basket. Inhale, draw it up. On the exhale, how about a burst out? Send those hands down. Bringing them back into the basket. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, bursting those hands open. One more. Draw that basket in. Lift up. Fill the ribs. That basket expanding. Exhale. Taking it down. Let's make some fists here. We're going to put energy into our hands. 
squeezing tightly, kind of holding energy in tight, retention, retention, and ah, send it out. Let's try that again. Big clench. Ah, let go. One more. Ah, shake it out. Woo, shake it out. Roll those shoulders. And we're going to give ourselves a half bear hug. Wrap your arm around your shoulder here. And give it a nice hug over right or left. Doesn't matter. Open wide. Take it to the other side. Open wide. Full bear hug. Give yourself a squeeze as you're breathing here. The ribs still expanding. Let the body go. Inhale, fill it up. Let it go. Inhale, open up those arms. Going for your opposite elbow at the back body. Breathe in here. Also note, you can be sitting in a chair if you need, if that's more comfortable for you. No problem. Let's bring those arms out. Bear hug, opposite arm on top. Squeeze. Self-love. Compassion. Creation. Open up. Switch out that top arm. Go for those elbows. Lift through the heart. Flare those shoulder blades. Beautiful. Releasing here. Take some neck rolls. Adjusting your seat. Check in. Are you feeling okay as you are, as you're seated here? If you feel like you uh, want to get in a chair, or you can also lay down at any time. We're going to settle into a meditation that involves a mudra or a gesture that can help enhance your experience, your meditation experience, drawing attention specifically to, um, to your focus. So this is our compassionate heart meditation with the, um, with the mudra that goes along with it. So we're going to take our hands like so. Our thumb is our fire sign, um, a bit of an instigator here. We're going to just have our thumb out for now and draw our index finger in right to the base of your thumb. Tuck it right in. Index finger, air sign. Tucking in here, firmly curled up. It's kind of rooted in and hiding. And then next, we're going to curl around our middle finger and our ring finger. So your hand kind of takes on a little bit of a, a curling spiral. Our ring finger, our earth, our stability, our strength. And I'm sorry, our middle finger is our air, our freedom all connected to the thumb. So there's this connection to the thumb. Resting your hands in your lap here. Closing the eyes, we're gonna bring in some flute. Draw in that freedom, that sensation of the wind.
may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease, free of disease. into uh, Tadasana, into mountain pose. Um, option here, if you're if you wanting to keep things pretty chill and relaxed, then you're totally welcome just to stay seated or come onto your back into Shavasana. We're gradually going to meet up in Shavasana in a moment or two. So coming up to standing. Be on the didgeridoo next. And we're going to Get into some movement with didgeridoo. So what, uh, it's because the dig is quite loud. Um, our best option for this um, part of our uh, movement meditation is to follow what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple um, for this aspect. And, uh, and then it's gonna be a little bit of free flow movement. So, um, we'll check in. Hello, everybody. Yes. All right. Incense. Grab some incense if you have a moment as well, or if you have some close by. <clears throat> so we're going to meet up in our mountain pose. Toes to touch, heels flared open, body stacked up nice and tall. 
And let's just have a moment where the dig can wash over us here. Connect to that vibration. Rooting the soles of the feet down towards earth energy. to the four corners of your feet. Taking a very simple portion of our sun salutations. We're going to inhale, reach those hands up, press your palms, and just exhale, bring it here to your heart center. Inhale, lift up, hop. Exhale, swoop it back down to side body. Inhale, take it up. about hip distance apart. I call this swishes. We're going to swish our energy around. Super simple movement gets the body moving, getting us grounded into our body. We're just going to swoosh our arms. I don't want to hit buzz rock here with my swooshing. Swooshing side to side, softness of the knees. You're bouncing a little bit here. Get those arms swinging. Make sure you're not too close to your yoga buddy here. Even get those hands swooping over the shoulder. And connect with the breath. Bringing it up and down the body, whatever feels right. Shake it out. 
You can also add a bit of a bounce if you wish.
for a sec. <sighs> Walk it off. Grab a sip if you're um, if you have been moving around. Roll those shoulders. Draw that beautiful feisty energy into the body, and we're gonna slowly make our way onto our backs. Maybe you're there already. Coming down, letting that breath come down with you. <sighs> I just want to see this light ooze out, this light. Oh, that's okay. Getting on moody. All right. Coming on to your back. This truly is an auspicious moon. There's so much build up to it. I'm super excited because I just discovered that my moon sign is a Scorpio. So that's pretty cool. Personal information to to find out for our Scorpio full moon. So we're going to also connect to another auspicious aspect of this moon, and that is Buddha. Some wisdom of Buddha to infuse into our practice. The full moon in May is the celebration Buddhists have of the birth the enlightenment and the death of Buddha. Um, so that's pretty powerful, pretty neat. I want to share with you the wisdom of Buddha, a little story about, about him. So we're settled on our backs here, connecting to breath, scanning the body, noticing without judgment sensations that are moving through you. And then when we start the movement, you can come back to the bridge. One day, one day when Buddha ventured out of his palace grounds, he witnessed people who were suffering everywhere. So he was a prince. He was going to be king. Um, and he was sheltered from all human hardship. So as he stepped um, out of his palace grounds, he saw the old and frail, those who were diseased and dying. He saw the truth of the world. He was so over overcome by what he saw, he left the palace and traveled for six years to seek and find the cause and cure for what ails us in life. His enlightenment Mint was to come later when he sat under the Bodhi tree and meditated until he came to understand the truth of life. Some of his teachings are impermanence, that we create our own suffering, non-attachment or letting go, joy, compassion, metta, loving kindness. So loving kindness metta is is going to be our our path we're going to travel down next as we uh take on this this last portion of our our ceremony you yourself as much as anybody in the entire universe deserves your love and affection you as much as anybody breathe that in self-love metta is about love and kindness to ourselves and to the world around us to the people around us is a wish for true happiness for ourselves and everyone and to respect the life that we have already. So gratitude, joy, all of these things. 
tucking those shoulders underneath you. Here, reaching them long overhead. I'm going to bow my body or take on a banana shape with my body. I'm going to round out left foot crossing over right. Right arm anchoring onto left wrist. Pull yourself over, lengthen through left side of the body. Breathe into that left side body. those crossed ankles and switching out other side right ankle over left grasp onto your right wrist with your left hand and pull yourself over twisting or lengthening side body not twisting lengthening bringing yourself center big squeeze lots of energy whatever energy you have left and exhale surrender to that earth Drawing our knees up into our chest, squeeze them tight, rocking side to side. And gradually right side of the body to a seated, well actually we're going to move to a tabletop position. So we're going to shift our hands under our knee, our shoulders. Knees under our hips, toes tucked under for a melting heart, for an extended puppy pose. Reach out here, lengthen heart center, pouring down to the earth. Forehead coming down, chest coming down. Keeping those toes tucked under, sit bones reaching up and back. I am 
safe. I'm beautiful. I am worthy. I am love. Start to add a little bit of movement into our toes. A little wiggle with those legs. Take the, ch the gaze off of the chest. Up. Keeping that movement going. Feeling that life force moving through you. Ground those forearms. Lift up a little bit with the chest. Maybe you want to sway the body side to side. Natural sensation, natural movement. This movement gradually brings us hands under shoulders. Pressing it back. Let's take a child's pose for a moment. Oh, sit bones coming to heels. Our knees close together. Our knees nice and wide apart. Reach it out or curl it in. Bring the arms in close to you. Slowly, spine undulating up, lifting up, shoulder roll, onto those sit bones, coming to seated, getting comfortable, grab those pillows back, if you need a, a blanket over you. Maybe you want to stay in a laying down position. Maybe that's what you need right now. Oh. Yes, beautiful. Listen for the beat of your heart. Have an empathetic awareness. Allow a slow, gentle rhythm to arise of its own accord. Feel the cave of the heart, the spiritual heart. Notice shelter around the heart. The ribs, like palace walls protecting. How does it feel here? Is it full? heavy or weighted? Is it guarded or open? Feel any holding patterns of isolation, grief, or anxiety lift. Within you is the capacity to love that which transcends separation. With love, offer these lines to yourself. May you be safe. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live a life of ease. Maybe you want your hand on your heart, a hand on the belly, both hands on the heart. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live a life of ease. Now shift your attention to someone you love, either with you or who's passed on. Envision this person, their clothes, their hair, their smile, just like you. They want to be loved and give love. Say those words to them. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be healthy. May you live 
a life of ease. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live a life of ease. Now shift your attention to someone neutral in your life. Maybe a person you pass on the street or someone you meet at the supermarket. Picture this person and you greeting them. Just like you, they want to be loved. Give them some love. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live a life of ease. Let's shelter one another. Let's protect each other from disease. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live a life of ease. If it feels right, bring your attention to someone you have closed your heart to. It could be significant or a small barrier you have erected. If this doesn't feel right to you now, come back to yourself. Picture this person and imagine, just like you, they desire love and affection. Reach out to them. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live. We're going to bring our ceremony to close by sharing three ohms with you. We would love if you wish to own with us. You can take this as an internal um, vibrational sensation or say it loud, say it proud. 
if you wish, pressing your hands at your heart center, <clears throat> allowing the, the vibration, the sound just to flow out of your body um, and let it just flow. So from one ohm to the other, you don't have to wait for uh, to hear my voice or Buzz Rock's voice. You just allow it to flow or uh, just stay tuned in with us. It's kind of a uh, whatever feels right to you. With that ohm, the sound of the universe, the original, the first mantra. Taking a big inhale, we're going to take one balanced, even breath. Exhale out the nose. Inhale. healthy. May you be safe. May you live a life of ease. This has been a really blessed time for us. We haven't spent much time together with um, Buzzerock working con constantly. So this has been a really, really amazing treat for us to connect between us. Thank you very much. And also to connect with you and share share what we love to share with all. Let's uh, finish as we always do at Oxygen. Um, we do our everyday mantra at the end of all our classes, floating our hands over our heart. And say it with me on the count of three, say it loud, say it proud, I love my life. A one, two, three. I, I love, love my life. life. I hope you have the most beautiful rest of your full moon evening. I built an altar in my backyard, so I'm very excited to check that out as the, the darkness has settled in and do some moon gazing. I hope you take some time for um, some reflection and, and all the good things uh, that go with it. Namaste. <laughs> Stay wild, moon child.